So Breaking Bad ended today then. That sucks. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick vlog, my first vlog. I should probably introduce myself. I'm James, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't really expect anyone to watch this, but I just thought I would share my thoughts on Breaking Bad, which I'm quite a big fan of, hence the T-shirt and this little guy right here. His hat comes off. Probably knock it over now. Um, and his glasses as well. But, um, yeah, I'll put him back. Um, I just thought I'd yeah share my thoughts, as I say. I watched it a few hours ago now, because um, in England we had to kind of wait. I, well, I wish I took the day off work so I could watch it, really, but um, I didn't. But, um, yeah, I'm all caught up now. And, um, yeah, it was a good finale. Like, as finales go, it didn't disappoint like Sopranos did for people and um, didn't probably didn't divide people the way Lost did. Um I've never actually watched Sopranos or The Wire, so for me it's pretty much the best television show I've ever watched, probably, I don't know. I probably prefer Lost in the, because it's kind of, that's just my thing, but um, no, I don't can't think of a better programme. There's so many characters in Breaking Bad that are just like the best characters that have been on TV. I can imagine lists in years to come of best TV programmes, it'll be right up there, best TV characters. This little Mr. W W be right there as well. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share my thoughts for it then. So it was a good finale. It all kind of, it did have the Scarface ending in that he went on his big rampage. He he took loads of people down, and he died. Spoiler. I should have said that at the beginning, but um, yeah, he died. Um, it was he didn't do it in the all guns blazing way that he could have done. He did it in the. Walter White way that we know and love. He did it with tactics and being the most intelligent man in the room always, um, setting up the guns. And in doing that, he sort of redeemed himself a little bit, did he? Um, I've always rooted for Walt, even probably long after I should have done. But um, he, he saved Jesse. He didn't have to do that. He, um, he also kind of was honest to Skylar for the first time in that he said he was doing it all for himself, which is a change. Because um, until then he'd always said it was for the family, but we all sort of knew it was his ego, but he finally admitted that. So he's come to terms with that. He found a way to give Walt Jr. or Flynn um, the money through Gretchen and Elliot. That was a good good way of doing it. I didn't really know what he was going to do when he was just sort of in the house. It's like when you're... Um, hiding from someone you don't really think through what you're actually going to do when you get there. And they just sort of see you there. But um, he obviously had it all planned out. So that was good. It was good to bring back Gretchen and Elliot from whatever season they were in. One, two. Um, so it was good that all sort of came together. And obviously it was amazing to see Badger and Skinny Pete because they haven't been around for a while. So he just obviously had their mobile numbers. So he just cooked them up as you do. But um, no, it was really good the way he just did his little... And then they shone the lights on um, Gretchen and Elliot. I think it was, thinking about it, it was sort of a giveaway that the lights were kind of blowing all over the place and everything, that they weren't the two best sharpshooters this side of Mississippi or whatever he said. But um, no, I'm glad they were in it. Um, Jesse had long hair, so that's been a little while. He hasn't had that um, before, so that makes a change. Um, other bits of the episode I liked. Um, I liked that Walt just totally third-wheeled on Lydia and um, Todd's date. That was pretty cool. Um, I just like the way he just goes around town, nobody notices him even though he's been on the news for months and manhunt underway and all that, he could just walk around, that's fine, he just walks around, um, goes in coffee shops, put rice in and some sugar, that's cool. Now that was a, that was a really good way to finally use the rice in, um, after all those times it never really actually was used, um, so it's good that that finally got used, it's a shame for poor old Lydia, but um Todd also I felt a bit bad about because I until last week the kind of first part of the two part epilogue time a bit um I thought Todd was redeemable but um, then he went and killed Andrea and he just wasn't I thought he was saving Jesse when they were in the big desert showdown um because he sort of liked him or was going to be nice but no he just made him a prisoner um but he he I, I just felt he was redeemable but it's a shame that he turned out he wasn't and it was good that Jesse got to kill him after he'd been kind of torturing him for so long and it was good that Uncle Jack died as well because I thought he might have kind of escaped from the big mass Meccano shootout but um, I also one of my favourite bits in the episode actually was when um, Uncle Jack was just asking Walt about his hair it's like oh you used to shave it did you and all that bit that was quite fun 
But um, as far as how it leaves the characters, it was nice to see Walt have a goodbye with Holly and kind of see Flynn one last time. That was nice. And Skylar kind of... He didn't really have a goodbye, but he was honest with her, as I said, so that, that was nice. Marie didn't really feature much in the episode. She was just kind of on the phone. Um, I don't know if it's any purple. Maybe that's she's in mourning, so she doesn't wear purple anymore, maybe. Um, but that's a shame, because I do love Marie, as anyone who knows me knows. Um, other than that, then, I wonder what would happen next. Obviously, Walt's died. Will Skylar show them the coordinates, presumably? They'll find the bodies, but... Um, I don't know how it works with striking a deal. Is that just something that happens in TV? Or do you just strike deals and you're let off in America these days? I don't know. Um, I wonder what will happen to um, Jesse, of course. Um, I, he can't get off scot-free, but maybe Marie will say something about how he was helping Hank and all that sort of thing and how he's been a prisoner against his will, all that sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to reflect on the, the finale and also just look back at Breaking Bad in general, really because it's been a big part of my life these last couple, few years. The wait just for these last, well, 16 episodes was, no, it was either just the last eight episodes, was like a year, and that felt like forever. So just the thought of having no more left is pretty, pretty terrible. But yeah, pretty terrible. Um, the Saul Goodman spin-off has potential to be all right, I guess. It's not going to dilute the kind of the feel of Breaking Bad, kind of, that's ended, that's the chapter over with, it's not going to, kind of, if it's bad, it's not going to ruin the reputation of Breaking Bad, be interesting to see what they do, they obviously think they've got good ideas, Vince Gilligan or whoever it is, um, so yeah, it will be interesting to see, um, they've got lots of good characters in Breaking Bad with Gus, um, Tuco, Mike, all the people dying along the way, um, must be a quite high body count in um, Albuquerque, um, but yeah, I'll leave you with that. That was my thoughts on the finale. And um, oh, other than that, I liked all the music in it as well. It all kind of was kind of spelling things out in the lyrics of these old country songs. So that was fun. Um, so now I need to find another program to get into. So as I say, I haven't watched Soprano or Wire or The Wire, so I may give them a go. But um, Walking Dead's back next week, so that's pretty exciting. I'll have to get a Walking Dead T-shirt, get a little um, Rick Grimes to put here. That'll be fun. Daryl Dixon probably, actually, because he's much cooler. Um, Boardwalk was back a few weeks ago, so I'm catching up on that. South Park's back. Arrow's back soon. Game of Thrones next year. So um, I'll fill the gap, but it will be difficult. That is me for now. I will speak to you soon. Bye.